The first global mass bleaching event was in 1998, and that's when most marine biologists who were active at, at that time first personally experienced coral bleaching. It was the first time the Great Barrier Reef bleached. Then it happened on the Barrier Reef four years later in 2002. Then we had a very long gap, a 14 year gap, and we were just simply lucky that we didn't see the third bleaching event until 2016. And then unfortunately we were very unlucky because we saw it for the fourth time just one year later. So what we've seen here on the Barrier Reef mirrors the global trend. We've gone from a period before the 1980s where mass bleaching simply didn't happen to an intermediate phase that lasted a couple of decades where El Nino's triggered bleaching. And now more recently, we're seeing bleaching events throughout ENSO cycles, so even in ENSO neutral years and in La Nina years, which historically were, were cooler. They're still cooler than average, but La Nina periods now, the water temperature is hotter than it was during El Nino phases just 30 years ago.